City of Melbourne homeowners could see their property taxes increase to help pay for a new police headquarters. Yeah, a new building could cost around $35 million. New right now at 5, Channel 9's Ty Russell is live outside the current police department along Apollo Boulevard. And Ty, detectives are working out of a different building right now. Yeah, Martha, the police chief told me when a victim of a crime shows up to this building right here and walks right through that door, they will see an officer immediately. However, when it comes to seeing a detective who will investigate, well, they're at another building about two miles away. And the chief told me that reason, among others, is why that's unacceptable. For nearly 35 years, Melbourne police officers have worked out of this building along Apollo Road. The aging police department is now plagued with leaking ceilings and a mold problem. I totally understand that they may need more room and area and more modern facilities. The city plans to take this facility along with the investigations and communications building, which is two miles away, and combine them into one. The new headquarters will be able to withstand a Category 5 hurricane and serve as the emergency operations center. Police Chief David Gillespie says the city can't do it alone. We need the community support uh, just in general, and we're also going to need their vote in November. In November, voters will decide whether to allow leaders to borrow up to $35 million to cover the cost of the new headquarters. And if approved, property owners will also agree to increase their taxes to help make the yearly $2.5 million payment until the loan is paid off. It is a uh, small commitment, but the return on that investment is going to be huge. We did the math. The median taxable value for a single-family home in Melbourne is $60,910. That means last year, that homeowner paid $1,203 in taxes. If voters approve the referendum in November, the owner's tax bill could increase next year by $37 to $1,240. As we grow, the police department needs to grow with us. And if approved by voters in November, the design could be complete by next year this time, and construction is scheduled to be done by early 2021. But for now, we are live outside the Melbourne Police Department. I'm Ty Russell, Channel 9 at Witness News.